Yes, yes. This is your boy, Mr. Yee. Yee. We're back at you. It's beautiful, sunny, 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 sunny. Already look at that. God is good. Yes, yes. It's Sunday. We're relaxing. But we're coming at you today because this video, you know, see OG trailer number one. OG trailer number one. He's got to get charged up. And I don't bring my I don't bring my trailers home. I'm not bringing my trailers home anymore to charge my trailers. You know what I mean? Some of us, you know, say go. Some of us go to Harbor Freight. Some of you, some of you, not me, but some some people may go to Harbor Freight and get that that uh, solar charge that goes right here that just plugs right into the uh, uh, battery that you have to connect through these through these cables back here. No problem. That's up to you. But then you only have a twelve by twelve charger up here or they have the bigger ones but those are really cr to me those are fucking cr excuse my language those are crap i'm trying to tell you you guys already know about harbor freight situations anyways then some of us oops there we go again some of you out there you know what i mean have your have those cables that connect to the truck on the bottom of the truck and then plug into the uh, outlet right there and it charges while the truck is running, right? Right? But you're putting more stress on your truck, on your alternator, and you're taking power away from the truck by charging your battery. Me, I love my truck. My truck is a racehorse. This bad boy is a racehorse. This truck right here, you know what I mean? Like I tell you guys, I invested. I I invested into my business. I'm trying to tell you, I'm not trying to mess with this truck or do anything that's going to mess with this truck, or you know, leave me in a situation because I I connected another wire onto this truck to plug to charge that. Uh uh. You know, even though this truck is fully, fully, fully equipped, and you know it does have an outlet right, it does have a house outlet right there. You know, a 120 no problem i don't know how many of you guys' trucks out there have that but you know there's a lot of trucks that do have that but my truck you know in case i'm on a job scene that you know i see so many videos so many haulers using using uh zaw saws you know what i mean skill saws and then you know tearing down situations at people's houses you know doing tear downs from shed removals to awnings to whatever but they're using the client's property and i'm like whoa you know what I mean? I would never, I can never ask the client, do you have an outlet? Do you have a septic over where I can charge my thing at while I do your stuff and use your power? Are you freaking kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? You know, not Mr. Yee Yee. Mr. Yee Yee comes fully equipped. Mr. Yee Yee carries the whole Makita battery pack system. I got so many batteries in here, it's ridiculous. I can pull my, I can pull my Makita out right there. I can pull my Makita out right there. There's one battery. There's two batteries. There's three batteries. There's a charger for the back of my truck if I need it. I even have a 120. I even have a 120 out charger right there. Here's another battery. I got so many I got so many batteries. There's there's two more in there. You know what I mean? I keep batteries. I keep the five hour batteries on deck. I'm trying to tell you guys. You know what I mean? We should never, we should never be asking a client, can we use your power outlet? <sighs> you know what I mean? I hope some of you guys, some of you guys might be offended by that. But Mr. Yee Yee, you know what I mean? Got nothing but love for you. But me over here at No Limit Hauling and Junk Removal, we never ask a, 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 a client, can I use your outlet? to plug something in and run one of these big old long old things across their whole property line are you kidding me what if you get a job way out there in the boonies what if you get a job way out there in the fields like i've had so many uh chicken coops and just just so many barnyard teardowns i had and there's no outlets out there what you gonna do my truck has an outlet no problem i could i'm, I'm always powered up there but you know i'm here to tell you guys i would invest into one of these i would invest into one of these these uh what, what is that jackeries i would invest to one i would invest to one of these the solar saga 100 the outputs the 18 volts i would invest into one of these and get you and get you and bring this with you right here you bring this with you right here 
you got you got your cigarette lighters you got all your usb cords you got a 110 volt right there which you know mine's a 120 but you know 110 volt right there you got a you got a flashlight right here in case you're at nighttime. but this bad boy comes with everything everything and now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna put this we're gonna put this solar pad on top of that on top of my on top of my trailer right now to, to to solar charge it all day as you see the sun is here and this bad boy was charging yesterday this this battery outlet is fully charged i could plug it right there show you guys look at that's 94 4 percent fully charged right now that would charge my trailer right now no problem but might as well have this hooked up to it all day and then when I'm in motion, when I'm in motion like the ocean, I'm gonna keep this thing in back of the truck bed and this thing will be plugged into the trailer 24 seven while I'm driving. While I'm at clients' houses, while I'm driving, this beautiful California, Northern California weather is gonna be solar powering that up right there. You know what I mean? If I was you guys, invest trying to tell you guys invest and invest and invest into your equipment because i'm trying to tell you guys less is best but be smart you know what i mean we want to go in these clients houses and look very professional look like we know what we're doing and act like we know what we're doing and you know not running out of batteries not running out of this or not running out of that stay prepared so you don't got to get prepared stay prepared so you don't get stuck like chuck solar pad look how big this thing is look do you see how big this thing is do you see how big this thing is this thing comes with the wire already this thing comes with the wire package already it even comes with a stand it even comes with a stand so if you're like you know hang on let me help let me, let me hang on man see what i'm saying see what i'm saying so if you're somewhere it even comes with a stand so solar panel can get in all angles I'm trying to tell you guys man i'm gonna leave this out here because I'm not working today. I'm relaxing even though I'm getting calls. I'm getting emails. I'm going to leave this today to charge that one. And then every day when I drive now, this will be back here. While my, my, while my door is closed, this will be back here. And this wire will be plugged into this. And then this will be plugged into the solar thing just like that man this thing is charging baby and we're getting action baby so you know it's just like that guys gotta know what you're doing invest in some tools solar is the way to go right now now we have this good weather you want to charge your trailers and you don't want to bring them to the house like me i have a certain situation where i don't bring my trailers to my house just like that We'll get back at you. It's your boy, Mr. Yee Yee. Make sure you like and subscribe. You know, I want to give you guys game. Get some of these solar chargers. Put them in back of the truck while you're driving around to charge up all your stuff. Or in case you got to charge up tools. Bam. In case you got to bring your, in case you got to bring your saw. You're, you're going to a client's house and you need some power. No problem. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Let's go. You got all that power right there. You got all that power you need right there. Boom. Let's go. Then you bring it back to the truck out. After the job is done, you plug it back in, you plug it back in, boom, bammo dammo. Come on, guys, let's get it, baby. Let's be smart, let's be ready for this season, and let's go. Yes, yes, Mr. Yee, yee. Yes, yes. So now, do you guys see, I got my, I got my solar pad on top of the trailer, and the trailer's gonna be sitting all day. The trailer's gonna be sitting all day. Out here in Cali, we're getting sun to about seven o'clock, eight o'clock right now. And you know, that thing is gonna be charging all day, sitting there getting, getting multiple, multiple charging right now, multiple. So, you know, let me let you guys see what's going on now. So now that's gonna get charged. I got my battery right here. As you see, it's 95%. It keeps on, it's charging, it's charging, it's charging. You see the AC? The AC all current light is on. You see that? You see that? The AC light is on, 95% is charging the input. And now it's connected to my, to my uh, converter right here. And now look, if you can see, it is charging, baby. You see that light right there? Charging. You see, so I don't gotta, so I don't gotta hook up the little rinky dink one from Harbor Freight to that right there. I'm not gonna do that. I don't even like buying things at Harbor Freight unless I have to. But you know, you see that, you see that, you see that? 
Bammo, charging all day right now. And I don't gotta touch that. I don't gotta bring my, I don't gotta bring my trailer home. I don't gotta do nothing. But you know, you let this bad boy charge all day. This bad boy will charge all day. I'll be back here later on. About, uh, I'll be back here later on to come check it out. But you know, this bad boy is going to charge all day for free. And guess what? Mother Nature is going to pay for that charge. Thank you. Thank you, Mother Nature. So, you know, I just did this video to show you guys because, you know, a lot of us are not equipped with the right knowledge or don't know or don't know or what should we do. But, you know, if you like to put that little uh, charger, like I say, on top of here and that's what you do. That's what you do, man. That's what you got to do. That's just, hey, that's what's up. That's you. You know what I mean? But over here, I got the big boy charger up there. You see that big boy solar powder? You see that thing? That thing is charging that thing. And whew, you know what I mean? That's just going to be done. Later on, I want to go to the dump. So about I want to go to the dump about 3 o'clock today. So I'm going to let that thing charge all day. It's, it's not even 10 a.m. yet. I'm going to let that thing charge for about 5. Let me see, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2. About five hours, I'm going to let that thing charge. Just like that. We're going to come back. First, we're going to take all the metal out of there. I got a bunch of metal in there that I did a uh, shed removal yesterday. And we're going to take all that out of there. And you know what I mean? We're, we're going we're gonna to go to the dump. And just like that, we're going to take this. this uh, we got, I'm going to take all of the, I'm going to take all the metal. You see how it has a little baby camel hump right now. It has a little baby camel hump right now because I got a bunch of metal in there from a, a metal shed I just removed. I'm going to take all of that metal out of there when my recycle guy comes later. And I'm going to take all these things I have in here, all these little rinky-dink things I have in here, we're going to get rid of. We're going to get rid of all these things and put it into the no limit, into the no limit shed. I mean, into the no limit trailer, OG. And then boom, bam. You see this big old nice bucket I got from a job? See this nice bucket I got from a job? You see this big old nice cardboard bucket I got from the job? And of course, it's already breaking because of, you know, the water hit it. And, you know, maybe it wasn't a good idea leaving, leaving it out in the water. But it's okay. Still sturdy. So now I'm going to start throwing all my metal, all my, all my scrap metal in here. I'm going to, this is a, I'm going to start throwing all of my scrap metal in here. And, you know, when my scrap guy comes, all he has to do, do is go in here and get all the scrap metal. Boom, bam, just like that, baby. This is your boy at No Limit Hauling and Junk Removal, Mr. Yee Yee. Giving you guys just good ideas. You know, go get you one of those nice boxes. You can throw all your scrap metal and everything in there. And, you know, but that's what we're doing today. We're being smart. We're showing you guys how to charge these trailers. How to charge these trailers for absolutely free. For Mother Nature. Charge your trailers with Mother Nature. Don't use your big boy trucks to charge your trailers. These trucks already run and operate a lot, a lot, a lot of uh, electronics. When you add more electronics to these things, you're asking for a problem. I'm trying to tell you guys. You know what I mean? They're asking for a problem. And I definitely recommend, you know, when you guys, uh, uh, if, if you guys get these trailers, upgrade these batteries to an interstate. You know what I'm saying? Interstate batteries in these trailers, oh my God, woo! You'll always have power. Interstate trailers for these, interstate batteries for these trailers. Woo wee, woo wee, I'm trying to tell you. You know what I mean? But you know, trucks do their thing, but this truck should not be charging that trailer. Now -uh, I need this truck to run perfect, all cylinders, every time when I start it up, bro, 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 bro. not all messed up because it's charging other things. When you could just use mother nature, to charge your trailers for absolutely free. Just a little game for Mr. Yee Yee. Again, make sure you like and subscribe. We'll get back to you guys. Everybody have a good and blessed Sunday. This is your boy, Mr. Yee Yee.